Yeah, it's war time. It's war time. Gather the troops. Yeah, it's war time. The most high is gonna have mercy on you, black Hey, shalom, shalom. Hey, welcome to Wartime Radio. We on WPJM 800 AM, and with me I got... Officer Nehemiah. Officer, you want to talk south. Hey, and all, hey, y'all in for a good show today, man. So we're going to jump right into it, deal with, deal with the enemies to bring out this show for our people to be edified. Let's, let's start out with Romans 15 and 4. It's the book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. So we are here to let our people know who they are. They're black, Hispanic, and Native American. All right, so let's talk about something we saw in the news today. Get that yeah. video clip for me. Yeah, so what we're going to be looking at, man, we got... You know, I don't know if y'all look at the channel or whatnot. Uh, got the Young Turks. Every now and again, you know, we view their stuff. And and this dude made a great point. And so y'all check it out. Check it out real quick. Started from the beginning, from the very beginning. Listen to this. There was an audible gasp during the closing arguments of the defense attorney, Laura Hogue, um, in the trial for the murderers um, of... Ahmad Arbery. Now, uh, the video that we're about to show you was literally what this woman said, what the defense attorney said in her closing arguments in her attempt to defend the three men who were involved in the uh, fatal shooting of Ahmad Arbery. Without further ado, let's watch. Turning Ahmad Arbery into a victim after the choices that he made does not reflect the reality. <coughs> of what brought Ahmad Arbery to Satilla Shores in his khaki shorts with no socks to cover his long, dirty toenails. Stop right there. <laughs> Yo, Stop right He said his long, dirty Yo, toenails. Yeah, Black. This is the defense attorney now. Okay. This is the defense attorney. This is a closing statement, and she's using the fact that this man had – no socks on and he had long dirty toenails as to you know what this is this is let's not look not let she said let's not turn him into the victim mind you he's dead he already the victim yet and still she's saying let's not do that and then blames it on the fact that he had dirty feet unbelievable he that had dirty show, feet that goes to show you the hatred they have for she is in That's the courthouse straight racism straight racism racism go to her back in two and four and why you get that? Why the dude, when she said it, you even, if, if y'all missed it, you even heard in the background, you heard somebody say, wow, <laughs> of how much nonsense that was, man. Unbelievable. Go ahead, go ahead. It's the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. It said, read it one more time, one more time. Behold, his soul which is it lifted up. Behold, his soul, who is talking about the true savages of this land, Esau, Edomite, your so-called, your friendly neighborhood white man. Right, right. Which is lifted up, is not upright in him. So he's very proud. He don't care what he do and how he do it. He don't care about you. She just said it. You heard the uh, defense attorney? She just said it. His dirty black toenails. Yes, yeah, that, that, was, that was what made him get pursued, and they cornered him. And then they trapped him, and then they shot him, right? Because he had dirty feet. You can't make this stuff up. Go, you finish? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. No, well, hey, no, hey. No. <laughs> no, you gotta finish it out. Go ahead, go ahead, finish. But the just shall live by his faith. The just is us, not these savages we're talking about. Like, look at look at the vid what we just showed on the on the, on the screen. Right. 
Right. It's ridiculous how we cleave to these people when they don't give a damn about you. They don't. They don't care nothing about you. But oh, I love Miss. I love Miss Becky. Yeah. I love. Oh, we ain't through. We ain't through. Go ahead. Cause you know how they uh, they, if it just like you look at the news, every time a black man is killed, they demonize the black man as though it was his fault right. that he got murdered. All he was doing was jogging, and he got killed because of that. You know the same thing. You get the brother put this put his knee on 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 a on a what's the brother name? Um, George George, George Floyd. Floyd. There's so many. I was going to say a different name, but I knew that wasn't right. So you got him, and they demonized him. He the one putting his knee on his neck, and he and they demonized him as well. They right. do this every single time to try to. Get get one juror or whatever these little racist people on their side, and then they get away with it. But in this case, dudes was convicted, yeah. but getting still, they still ain't gonna stand there the whole time. At least I don't believe it. But let's go back to the video and then start at like nine forty, and we gonna listen to 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 what <laughs> how you know this man he he snapped he went off you know he said a lot of stuff that was true hundred percent. Want any of that? We don't want yeah, lawlessness. We don't want chaos. But we're tired we're of there. We're, we're there. We're tired of right wing terrorism that has been done in this country for centuries. Look, I don't want to. When they attack black people after they've been murdered, when they did absolutely nothing wrong, you're pushing us to the limit. And what do I mean by that? You're asking us to talk about history, the history of the South. This is in Georgia. What it, what happened in Georgia? There were savages in Georgia. It was the ancestors of the white right-wingers. They were absolute savages. They murdered people. They lynched people. They raped people. They enslaved people. They took babies from their mothers and sold them as property. You want to talk about savages? Your ancestors were the biggest savages the world has ever seen. And so don't, don't you dare, don't you dare call a black man a savage after you murdered him. <laughs> don't you yeah, dare do that. Savage. I'm so sick of African Americans being called violent when the world's worst violence was done to them, not by them, to them, not by them. For God's sake, you want to do racist stereotypes? If it fit anywhere, and it doesn't, but if it any, fit anywhere, it would certainly fit white right-wingers in the South who has hundreds of years of history of being savages, mm. savages. They snatched babies and they sold them as property and they raped their mothers, savages. That's what they were. You wanna talk about stereotypes? Screw all of you who still defend that Confederacy, Dang. that I monstrosity. Anyone who defends that is a barbaric savage. That's Stop, why right they don't want to Stop right there. Stop right there. His point. Hey, he definitely made his point. <laughs> hey, I like hey the clip. Hey, the clip is good as heck because he's touching on a lot of stuff that people are afraid to say. Right. Even our own people are afraid to say what he said. Right. He ain't even one of us, and our people are afraid. To, it's happening to us all the time, and we are more afraid to say it than he was. Right. Than he was. So. So like you said, they were savages. So look, I sent you a couple of images as well to even talk about, to even show a little bit, just just two photos of what they was doing to us. Let's look at those as well. Pull those up. Pull those up. I don't even know if you download them. Did you get them? I need to wait. All praises. All praises. Let's put that up there. Because he was talking about they were selling our children. They weren't just selling. They was even taking our babies and dashing them against trees and rocks and stuff to kill them. You know what that is, officer? That's the hatred, the perpetual hatred they have for us. Yeah. Go to Ezekiel 30, 35 and 5. That that goes right along with what the the guy with the young Turks was saying and what officer just brought out. How how <laughs> how much a savage they are and how much they hate us as a people. Read that. It's the book of Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 5. Read it out. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. In the time of our sin had an end. So 
they've been slaughtering us for a long time today. Yeah. yeah. In the past, in the history, what they did our foremothers, our forefathers in slavery. And we and now, oh, and go look look at this. Now they want to take slavery out of schools. Hey, look. They don't even want they don't even want the now the, it's they the, we were now they were teaching we were indentured servants bruh. in class now. Unbelievable. Right. Read that again from the top. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 5. Bring it out. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. A perpetual hatred. That's a hatred that's forever. Ooh. Perpetual means forever. Read. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. They shed our blood so when they scattered us, come and got us out of off the coast of Africa and took us into all these lands and, and pillaged our villages here on, on the uh, west side. Read. By the force of the sword. By the force. They came with force. They came with force. Horses and swords. Go on. Go on. In the time of their calamity. In the time of our calamity. The, the, the time we're going through. Read. In the time that their iniquity had an end. In the time of our iniquity had an end. Our iniquity has an end. It's ending. Right? So with that. Let's let's show that next yeah. part of that uh, gotta, video. And that's the end of the video. I want to show them the two images just to see what what this man was talking about on them hundreds of years of them mistreating our people. There's images that's freely all over the internet everywhere. So let's look at them. Let's look at them. So in this photo right here, they was doing this. This right here is the conquistadors when they came over here and conquered Northern Kingdom. Look, must just celebrated. Wicked Thanksgiving a few days ago. Crazy. And then, and this right here is what you were celebrating, the slaughter. You see the man holding the baby in his hand about to dash this baby up against this this uh rock or whatever this big old wall is over here on the left-hand side. While at the same time, you got 13 people hanging over there in pit of fire. And they put 13 to represent the 12 apostles and Christ. That's what they was doing for hundreds of years. Go to the next image. Show the next one. What, you got someone to say on this, officer? No, no. All right, good. go to the next image real quick. And this right here is what they was doing to Southern Kingdom. Now, what you're looking at is a man looking at his five-year-old daughter's hand and foot. They chopped them off because this right here was when they was doing chocolate and things like that. And they chopped her hand and feet off because she didn't bring back enough. Five. Five years old. That's just Those are just two two. Two images of what, of just a little of what they did. So when that man said they were savages, then they turn around and demonize. You could take it off. Uh, off. When they take them things off and they demonize us, yet and still, we ain't did none of that crap. We ain't do that to nobody. But they did that to any and everybody of all ages. It didn't even matter. So, hey, let's get that. Um, Deuteronomy. I ain't know if you was going to pull it off. No, go ahead. Let's get it. Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 50. 49. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 50. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not be regard- Well, yeah, we'll jump up. Jump up to 49. Just we'll know. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 49. Uh-huh. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, mm-hmm. as swift as the eagle flyeth. And it says as swift as the eagle flyeth because, look, the Romans, their symbol was the eagle. Uh, uh, you got there in America, symbol as the eagle. The Greeks, eagle. Same people all this time have been persecuting us all these hundreds and hundreds upon hundreds of years. <laughs> Read on. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. And we didn't understand their language. They forced these languages on us. We don't speak English. We, we speak English because they forced it on us. Our brothers speak Spanish because they forced it on them. Read on. A nation of fierce countenance. Mm-hmm. Which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. And that's what we just looked at. Who does we literally that? see them hanging grown folks and took the baby from the mother to dash and kill the baby up against a stump or a wall or a brick. That's what we was looking at. They are the real savages, like like uh the, the Turk man was talking about. I don't even know that's this dude's right. name. What's his name? Y'all know his name? I don't know his name. I don't know his name. But hey, the radio they the show that he got is called Young Turks. They have some good stuff on us sometimes that they be saying. And that, what he was saying on how they demonize our people all the time happens every single time they kill us. Then they turn around and make it like 
we they were the victim, but we're the ones that's dead. Just like the lady in the video. She tried to demonize the brother, right? Why? Look at Psalms 94 and 20. The sister, the, not the sister, that damn demon tried to demonize our brother by what she, the statement, opening statement she made about his dirty black toenails. Look, read that off. <laughs> The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? So they frame mischief by law. She's tried to justify what those men did to Omar Aubrey. She tried to justify it, right? Trying to justify sin, mischief of law. She tried to twist the law to, to make, make uh, the, the men that shot the brother the victim and not the one that they kill. Right, it's like she said, let's not make him the victim. He right. is. He is the victim. It don't even make sense. It don't right. even make sense. You was done with that all? Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. All right. Hey, uh, jump over to, um, yeah, let's jump over to Psalms 49. I think that's what I want. Let me look at it real quick. Psalms 49 and, and let's do 11. Because what's happening is because of the way that they're moving and, the, and they feel like they're going to be able to do this to us forever and a day and it ain't gonna be that way but this is the end with all this is how they feel and this is why they do what they do read that the book of psalms chapter 49 verse 11 their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever uh -huh. and their dwelling places to all generations mm -hmm. they call their lands after their own and, names and that is what they're doing they are moving as though this place ain't going nowhere and ain't nobody going to take them down. That is why they moving how they move. That's why they'll sit up here and do this right here. Get, uh, get, get Obadiah, get Obadiah 10, because we're going to read some of this stuff because for the violence that they've committed against us. It's the book of Obadiah, verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, mm -hmm. shame shall cover thee. Because of what? For thy what? For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. Mm -hmm. Shame shall cover thee, Read. and thou shalt be cut off forever. Because this right here says they're going to be cut off, but they are moving as though they're going to be living this way and keeping this thing going forever. And they're thinking they're going to get away with it. Like I said, these those men, they got convicted. I don't. Did they even get sentenced yet? I don't know if the, I don't know how long they got sentenced, how many, many years, but they won't be in that long. They got convicted. They ain't been sentenced yet. Okay, so they ain't been sentenced yet as far as we know. Nope. So they just got, yeah, you're guilty, but it, a shut loose shoot. They to put us under the jail already. We'd already been under the jail. But like, hey, man, unbelievable. You can't make this stuff up. Hey, go to, uh, let me get Proverbs 4 and 16. Also. Because they literally, you literally got to defend uh, a lawyer trying to defend the fact that they'll do these things to our people. They'll kill them, and then they'll sit up there and make up this stuff. Now, mind you, you know, whenever they do a closing, <laughs> whenever they do a closing speech, they usually do it the last day of the trial, and they usually get overnight to sit up there and do this stuff. Watch this right here. Read that. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 16. Mm -hmm. For they sleep not. 16, it verse 16. Hold on. Pro where we at? I said 4, 16. I'm sorry. I'm in the wrong spot. I'm tripping. Uh, Yeah. Go ahead. Book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 16. Uh -huh. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief. It says, except they have done mischief. The wicked of this world, it says they sleep not unless they have done mischief. That's a darn shame. Them mothers can't go to sleep until they done jacked up some stuff. You, on, they got to mess up some stuff before they sleep good. You know what? I'm going to accuse this man of his darn dirty feet as to why he died. And I'm going to try to get these men off and defend them to get them off. You literally had people in the comments like arguing, saying she was a terrible defendant because she wasn't able to get them off. That's what you had. You had people commenting saying she did a horrible job because she couldn't get them off from the murder. Bruh. Don't even mind you, mind you, if it would have been the other way around, a black dude, a black three black men. Did a white boy like that? Been under the it, jail. It, it, now. The, the case for one, it took him forever to get the thing in the courtroom. Two, huh? Two years to get the thing in the courtroom. So them muscles sitting there eating and chilling for over a year. Nobody even knocked on the door to come get them. The only reason why that thing happened is because somebody had it on their phone and recorded it. That was it. 
and they finally came forward and turned the footage in. Because of a white man turned the footage in. Unbelievable. You can't make this stuff up. Ashy ass white man had to step on the scene. Right. He had to tell on his own. Right. He said, "Hey, y'all ain't looking at this." And they still almost got away. Look what these men have done. Look what these men have done. Hey, they still almost got away, but they go to they can't sleep good until they like you know what? Let me check up some stuff. Read read that again from the top. The Book of Proverbs, (laughs) chapter four, verse sixteen. For they sleep not, except they have taken. They have done mischief, Reed. and their sleep is taken away uh-huh. unless they cause some to fall. Unless they cause somebody to fall, unless they destroy somebody, destroy the so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American completely, they don't sleep good. Right, right. Let me. I got a precept to that. Go to uh, Psalms thirty-six and four. It's even go right with along with what you said, officer. They, still, they, they can't don't make sleep. No sense, man. You know, uh, uh, what can I do to this Negro? <laughs> what can I do? How can I destroy him? Read that, officer. The book of Psalm, chapter 36, verse, verse 4. Bring he deviseth mischief upon his bed. See, he just said he couldn't sleep, yeah. right? Unless he ha- he have to do something wicked. Dude can't sleep. He can't sleep. Read. <laughs> he said it himself in a way that is not good. He's sitting there rubbing his hand together. What can I do to get this Negro? Mm. You know, what can I do? Read, read on. He abhorreth not evil. He don't even consider evil. Yeah, like it's like because to abhor it something, to him. like to to abhor right, something hate means thing. to hate evil. Right. It says he abhorreth not, not means he evil. Loves that thing. Yeah, he don't even care. He's like, I don't care. I'm gonna destroy. He black. You know you you know how Buzz used to watch a little cartoon and they got the wicked uh they got the evil right. scientists. Yeah, and they be laughing because they they know they finna do some evil. That's right. that's your neighborhood white man right there. That's Mister Rogers right there. <laughs> that's right. who y'all. That's who we. That's who our people love and care about and you literally had what was it you literally had uh, i think uh the captain showed the video yesterday outside the courtroom wasn't it like over 200 and something pastors that showed up come on look they showed up everybody cheered for when our brother showed up when 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 our brother showed up when iuic showed up on the scene they was clapping for the order and discipline but as soon as we started reading solutions out of the bible then all of a sudden our own people turned on us. So the, better so the, so the word to cut, cut them. But look, but our people was at the courthouse against the enemy, though. Right. But then we became the enemy <laughs> of our own people, bro. For, for standing up the for the same thing that they <laughs> standing re- up for. For reading the Bible. 200 passes. And we the enemy for reading the same book that all of them was supposed to have. That right there goes into why that white man can do what he do. Esau can do what he do because of stuff like that. I could only imagine that Esau was inside the courthouse laughing. Laughing at how our brothers was doing. But to get back to Esau, we ain't letting you off the hook. We are not letting you off the hook. Oh. So, go what you got. Go ahead. Also, the young Turk, he talking. <laughs> hey, he was part of it, too. The sub-Saharan trade slave. He had something Arabs, to do with it, too. Yeah, all he, nations. Yeah, yeah, all nations <laughs> did mischief to us. And so, you know, he ain't, you won't get off the hook. It's good Dang. that you brought it out, but you ain't getting out the hood. Dang. So, so he ain't getting away either. Yeah. You know, hey, let's go to uh let's go to Re- uh, right before the break. Let's go to Revelations uh twelve and ten. Revelations twelve and ten. Because there's a judgment for what's coming, and we're gonna deal with that after this break. But we gonna we're gonna go ahead and kick it a little bit. It's the book of Revelation, chapter twelve, verse ten. Uh, jump up to nine. Read nine. Verse nine. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil uh-huh. and Satan. And Satan. So that old serpent called the devil and Satan. Read. Which deceiveth the whole world. So that so-called white man that deceived the whole world by giving you the image of the beast, which is Caesar Borgia, that white image that all of, all of your grandmothers and mothers have up in their in they houses all and in their the churches, media. the all media. Over. To see the whole world. That's what, that's who you're talking about, Reed. He was cast out into the earth, uh-huh. and his angels were cast out with him. So that 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 so-called Edomite, that well, he ain't so-called. He is Esau. That Edomite gonna be cast down, and it says his angels, his messengers. That's right. This ain't talking about no darn fallen angels or whatever that was fighting with God and all that stuff. Nah. This ain't the fairy tale joint. Them angels are messengers of Satan, which is your Christian pastors. Right. 
them, them 200 pastors. Yeah, they're going to be cast out with them. Read on. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, mm -hmm. now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. It says, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down because we get accused for nothing. Right. We can be the victim and it's our fault that we the victim. Brother, yeah, you brother. got murdered for running up the block because you got dirty feet. That's what they doing. Accusing no, you of anything. And no signs of him committing any crime. No. Nothing. Not none, one. None whatsoever. And you literally have a lawyer, a defense lawyer trying to make a case when it, that thing was shut and closed for any and everybody. But you know why she took that case? It's because she honestly thought she could get him off because she was counting on racism right. to do it. She was counting on her people to back her. You know what? They might have didn't do it. it was, you know what? His dirty feet was dirty. What? And, and he deserved it because his feet was dirty. That's, that's what she was banking on. And like you said, we don't even know what they were sentenced to yet, but they've just been convicted. Right. So you don't know if it's going to be probation for 10 years or nothing. Right. You have no clue. But read on. Which accused them before our God day and night. And that's why they don't get no sleep. They accuse us before God. God is seeing everything that they are doing. And they are falsely accusing us for any and everything or whatever to try to justify the evil that they have committed against us. That's what these people are doing. That is what this devil is doing. But our people love them so. Our people love them so. Let me get, uh, you got some more stuff? No, no, go ahead. Give me Isaiah 13. I think that's where it's at. About our people wanting to be with them. Because there's a judgment to come for us to be ju to be joined with them and to love that. You got there 250 pastors out there wanting to, wanting to sit up there and argue the stuff and, and act up and come against the prophets. That don't make no sense. Is Isaiah 13? Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. that verse is 15. 15. Yes, sir. Book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Uh-huh. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. That is the judgment. Everyone that shall be found shall be thrust through. And if you blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans join with this devil, you're going to be killed too right along with him. That's right. Because the judgment is coming. They're not going to get away with this stuff forever. This stuff is going to end. There is hope at the end. But first, we got to do our job. And that's what we're going to deal with when we come back uh, from this break. So we'll take this uh, break or whatever, and then we'll come back and, uh, and deal with that. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. After the break, WPJM 800 AM. Hey, this is Wartime Radio. So, look, we're going to jump back into it. We're going to jump right back into it because, like, the topic is we're actually going over the fact on how we are, as a people, are constantly falsely accused by the other nations, especially, especially your friendly neighborhood white man and how people love, <laughs> love them to death. And it just don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? It just don't make no sense that our people love them that much that they cannot separate themselves from their ways nor anything that they do. We actually want to be like them more than anybody else. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right. So let's jump back into it. Um, Let's go to Proverbs because I was supposed to read that thing and I overlooked it completely. Let's do that. Proverbs, Proverbs 6 and 17. Let's just jump right to that. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 6. 16, 16, 16. I'm sorry. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 16. These six things does the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. So these things is the what is what the Lord hate. Listen to this right here. A proud look, uh -huh. a lying tongue, 
and hands that shed innocent blood. And that is exactly, that is exactly what the what these people do all the time. They shed innocent blood and they lie. How you gonna demonize somebody that was the victim to try to make the person that killed them to justify what they did as though it was right? What did he call them? What they right wingers, right wingers or whatever? Right, right wing terrorists. Um, they are the real terrorists. They are the real what he savages on the earth. That's right. Walk around killing and taking from everybody. But hey, but you know they got it coming to them. Absolutely. They got it coming. Go back to Isaiah uh, 13, verse 16. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 16. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. So that's showing you what the Most High and the angels are going to do to them when they when he comes back here. Right. It, they, just put that image back up there where they was dashing our, our children. They try to Whitewash it and put put uh white people up there with blonde hair and, and stuff. The Look. baby got his little flip on his hair. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Go back to that picture. <laughs> so read that again while he's getting that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 16. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces. So this is what's going to happen to their children. Read. Before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. So just like y'all ran through us, the most high and the angels going to run through you. Just like you danced out, children, on this picture right here, we're going to do the same thing to you. So you don't, you don't, hey, you know, like they say, karma is a mother, right? It's it coming. is. It's coming. <laughs> you don't get off scot-free. How you going to rape, mar- rob, and mur- murder and pillage your people and then just think, oh, I'm going to go into heaven with you. I'll be sitting right alongside you. Yeah. Right, like you like go drop back down to that scripture that right before this one. Verse uh, fifteen. Verse fifteen. It says everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So just being joined hand in hand, walking around, uh what they call it? We shall overcome. Right. Right. What just singing, that's what's gonna singing. happen to you. You're gonna get thrust through right along with them. Just like that two hundred pastors. That that was down there with the with the prophet. Hey, they gonna get thrust through too. Our people gonna two thirds gotta go. Mm. That's it. That's all I got. Hey, that, that's heavy. Did they put the picture up there? I ain't even yeah. see it pop up. It real quick. Oh, y'all just flashed it real quick. Yeah, put it back up there. <laughs> let, let the people yeah, see. Man. So so as you can see again, that's what they are doing to the northern kingdom of our people. That's the conquistadors when they came over here and conquered the Native Americans and, and the Hispanics of this land. That's what was going on. So now you see what they're doing to our people. The Bible just said they also shall be done that way. We going to get right. payback That's for that. Right. Those of us that repent and come into this truth and keep these laws until the end, till Christ come back, that's what we get to do to them. But a lot of times our people don't, we don't, we don't look at ourselves that way and understand that that's the reward for keeping the commandments. Because why in the world would it say they also shall be dead, that their children also shall be dashed into pieces? If God was for everybody and was going to save everybody, why does it say they also? Who's that? Right. That would mean somebody got to get dashed and somebody got to hey, do hey, it. Yeah, hey, hey, that's true because somebody <laughs> has to get dashed. You got to put that picture back up. I got another. I got another scripture. <laughs> I got another one for them being dashed. Look, get Psalms um one thirty seven and nine. Yeah. So they dashing us. You gonna? You mean tell me you gonna throw salt in my face and I can't throw none back? Mm. You gonna beat? You gonna rape, rob, and murder me and, and you ain't gonna get no uh. Uh, what's it called? Repercussions for it? Read yeah. that. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 137, verse 9. Happy shall he be. We're going to be happy. Read. That taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stone. So we're going to be happy when we do it. So we're going to just grab them by one anchor and slam them up <laughs> against the wall. That's what, Hey, look, look, look. And a lot of our people, y'all listening to this and not understanding that, th- that this is coming out of the Holy Bible. Right. Now that we're being uh, facetious or funny about it. Hey, they did it to the, did it to us, and the Most High is the one that's gonna start it off. Right, right. We just gonna finish it up. That's it. Jump up, uh, also, uh, the verse seven, so we'll know who this talking about. 
It's the book of Psalm, chapter 137, verse 7. It says, remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. So we are talking about Edom, your so-called white man. This Ooh. is biblical. When you read Genesis 25 and 25, it tells you who Edom is. That is your red man on the earth. That is literally, that's who you call the so-called white man. Because he's not white like paper. The dude is red. So that's who we're reading about. It says, remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. Read on. In the day of Jerusalem, who said, race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. They mocked us. When we got destroyed and put into slavery in 70 AD and all of that, and we was persecuted, they've been mocking us since. Right, they cheered that thing on. Literally Destroy sitting it. there cheering. Biggest cheerleaders and the biggest involvers. That was them. Then it says, remember them, O Lord. Read on. O daughter of Babylon. O daughter of Babylon. So Edom is being called daughter of Babylon. So when you hear great mystery Babylon, you talking about the so-called white man. You're talking about this place right here where we live in America. But then our people act like, oh, this is fairy tale. We don't know who this is. None of that. It's right here in your face is telling you who the daughter of Babylon is. It's Edom. Read on. Oh, daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. Who ought to be destroyed. Meaning that these lands and the way they think that this thing is going to continue forever. That's not going to happen. It says who ought to be destroyed. They are going to be put to death and destroyed. Right. Read. That's right. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. It says, happy shall he be that rewards thee as you did us. You're going to get exactly what you did to us. Now, no, we ain't going to be running around raping a women and stuff. That's def That would defile us. <laughs> But they're we gonna be made. Hey, they gonna be our slaves, and a lot of our people don't understand that thing. They sit up there and they cry about it and want to join with them and try to save them. You know what I'm saying? Hey, there's your music right there. That's the music for you. Y'all want to try to save this so-called white man? There it is. I like that thing, cause that's how people do sob stories. <laughs> yeah, that's where I would go. The little they they sit up there and they prepare these crazy during speeches and stuff with arms during I remember the I remember that picture where that black lady was covering up that Edomite right. Yep. right trying to protect him mind you they was out there because the Edomite killed one of ours Bruh. and she was out there trying to protect him what? the enemy right you you can't make that stuff up go to uh, Isaiah Isaiah 14 cuz like I said man we're going to read this stuff out of the Bible we ain't saying this and making this stuff up so if as bishops say, if you in Christianity, my condolences. <laughs> that thing was funny as heck, man. That thing was funny as heck. I, I, I was sitting there dying laughing because hey, that's the truth. Uh, people that are in Christianity, condolences to you because you can't even understand what's being said and what's to come. You ain't even prepared. Get Isaiah 14 and 1. Book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. And will yet choose Israel. Read. And set them in their own land. Mm -hmm. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So we're going to be put back in our own land, Jerusalem. And the other nations, they're going to be cleaving right there with us. Read. That's they right. look. They're going to cleave to us, but let's see what's going to happen. Read. And the people shall take them. And bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. They going to be slaves. We going to possess them as servants and handmaids. That means we are going to be ruling. Exactly. Not with, look, ain't going to be no white supremacy in the kingdom. Right. That's not happening. It, you ain't never seen a kingdom where every race and every nation is, is ruling together. You've never seen it. But our people turn around and think that the kingdom of heaven, that people are going to float up and everybody's going to rule together. Right. Nope. Skipping along, <laughs> skip along holding hands. That makes no <laughs> sense. Talking about the yellow brick road. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Got their uh, Wizard of Oz mindset. I don't, I don't get it. Stop it. You understand? It help. don't make sense. So Stop look, it. read on. Get some help. They shall take them captives whose captives they were. Uh, uh, jump up. No, read verse two all the way through. 
Verse 2, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Mm -hmm. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. Mm -hmm. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. Mm -hmm. And they shall rule over their oppressors. That's Bible. Right. That, that is that, the holy uh, Bible. We that, shall rule over the oppressor that is oppressing that's us. Right. I got to pull this off. Let's pull Go, ahead. Go get Isaiah 34 and 5. This, this is what the Most High going to do to them. Yeah. And we just get the follow-up behind it. Read that off. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Idumia. You have to say, who is uh, who, who's Idumia? Hey, listen, this, this dude, can so we get the definition? Yeah, we can get the definition. While you reading that, go ahead and finish it. But, hey, I'll tell you if y'all can find it. I don't know if y'all can find read, it. Finish it. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. So he going to get them all. He going to mm -hmm. get the Idumians and the people, the two-thirds. He yeah. going to get, get them all. Like it said, if you join with them, you're going to be dashed, be thrust, with the, thrust, thrust through. through with the sword right along with they behind. So skip along and watch what comes through your backside. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ain't that hey, ain't that what Phineas did? Yep. Shoot, everybody, hey, y'all be sitting there talking about people in the Bible. Y'all don't really be understanding what's going on in the Bible. Go back to uh, Isaiah fourteen. Let's read verse twenty one now. <laughs> so we gonna take the ones that's oppressing us, and they're gonna become our slaves. So let's read this right here. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter fourteen, verse twenty one. Prepare slaughter for his children. For the iniquity of their fathers. That's how you get them Edomites to be talking about, well, I wasn't there back then. I, I didn't right. do it. It wasn't me. Yeah, it was. It was you. It was it the main uh, reason they trying to take it out the school? Yeah, it was you when you reap the benefits and understand right. it, too. Because it's just like you stole a land from somebody. You understand that that's what your forefathers did. Why don't you give it back? And then, then you shoot a, a man that's running in your neighborhood or, quote, unquote, your land. Right. That you stole. That you stole. And you say it's yours. Unbelievable. You can't make that stuff up. And then you'll turn around and say, but it wasn't me. That was right. my that was my forefathers. But he got that, dirty toenails. That, but he got <laughs> dirty toenails. <laughs> oh, but he got dirty toenails and that's why it happened right there. And that's enough for you. Unbelievable. Read on. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. Read. That they do not rise, nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with the, with cities. And nor fill the face of the world with your cities. Like I said, your cities are not going to last forever. They're going to be burnt up with these nuclear bombs that God had you create to kill yourself. Esau's, that's, that's Esau's <laughs> destruction. That's what he did. Right. You know what I'm saying? He had them create the bomb to kill them with it. Had them build it. We ain't got the resources to do that. Hey, the Most High is a mastermind out here. He is sitting, sitting back laughing. Look, 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 look. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you build this many bombs. You <laughs> right. build this many bombs. Put them in these silos over here and aim them at each other. And we just, I'm just waiting on my children to repent. So that way I can kill every last one of y'all and then I'm going to save them. As a matter of fact, that's what he said. Let's read, let's read that in Romans. Because a lot of, look, because people say y'all just reading the Old Testament. <laughs> Y'all read no test. Let's go to Romans 9. Should we read Romans 9 and 13 just, just to get that as well? The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. That would mean that God don't love everybody. Right there. It said Esau have he hated. So oh. like it says back in Genesis 25, that's right. a nation of Edomite, the nation Ooh. of the so-called white man. He hates them all. Right. And people try to say, oh, he was just talking to that person. Right. But didn't it say there was a nation in Genesis? It's, exactly. It says it's a nation. <laughs> because you don't read. Your Christian pastors and these so-called apologetics, they don't read. They just told you. Unbelievable. Read. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jump down, to, uh, jump down to 17 now. So now we understand who he hates and who we talking about. We talking about Esau. So let's read this. Verse 17. Bring For the up. scripture saith unto Pharaoh... Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up. So for the same purpose. So he said the exact same thing to Pharaoh back then. 
about Pharaoh. He's saying it about Esau being on top now. He said, for the same purpose. Read on. Have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee mm -hmm. and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Read. Therefore, had he mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will harden it. So this right here is saying that God is going to harden who he wants to, just like he made Pharaoh say, no, I ain't letting them go. Just so he could kill them some more. Just so he could destroy all their false gods and, and embarrass them and utterly destroy them. He made them say no. He's doing the same thing to Esau today. He's hardening him right now. Esau don't want the world to end, but ain't nothing he can do to stop it. Because right. it's going to happen because we got to come up out of here. Because right. the Bible said so. God already promised it. Ain't nothing they can do to stop it. Read on. Verse 19. Thou would say then unto me, why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? <laughs> they must be talking about, hey, Lord, how, how you going to blame right. Esau for just, that? <laughs> He's just doing what you made him do. Yeah, right. Exactly. But then, but we think we can question God. God said, I'm going to do what I want. I got mercy on who I want, and I'm going to harden who I want. Read. Right. Nay, but, O oh man. Who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Read. Hath not the pot of power over the clay? Does not God have power over the clay? <laughs> over what he created? He created us and them. He created every nation. Don't he got power to make us do what he wants us to do? God, he <laughs> Just like Esau going to do what God put him on earth to do. Read on. Of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor. That's Jacob and Esau. They had the same mother and father. Same lump. One was unto honor, which is Jacob. Read. And another unto dishonor. That's the Edomite. That so-called white man that you love. Read. That Idumian. Yeah, that Idumian. Read. What if God, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath Fitted to destruction. So what this is saying is God created the so-called white man and let him get as big as he is in everybody's country just to kill him. Just to kill him. Right in front of your face, he's going to destroy this man just to prove to everybody else on earth that he's the one and only God. That's it. But our people read that. Yeah. Yeah. You got the definition? Of Idumia, just so they'll know that when the thing says Idumia, it's talking about the same people as Edom. The same one we just read about, Esau, Edom, Idumia, is the same people. Let's see. There it is. Idumia. <laughs> Greek name of Edom. There it is. I'm telling you, the Edomites. That's it. That's it. It's plain and simple. That easy. And this stuff is out here with what, dictionary.com? Right. Oh, no. what, you Zondervan? ask a the Christian Zondervan? pastor, and they have no clue. So now read that right there. Just so we'll know. Idumia. Edom is the name which was given to Esau, the firstborn son of Isaac. So there you go. So Esau, Edom, Idumia is the same. Right. Same people. Don't matter. So when our pastors walk around and they act like they don't know who these people are, stuff is right up. It's right here. Read that. Read that. Which one? 37. Edom in the Bible is also used as an equivalent for Edomites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Though the expression, the children of Edom, occurs but once, the country had before that been called Mount Seir. And that's so, where they do well. Right, they there call them go. Mount Seir as well. Ma yeah, right. call them Mount Seir in the Bible the as well. Caucasus, Caucasian, that's how they get their name. <laughs> they <laughs> call us blacks, mountains. but they call them by their own name, I'm Caucasians. Really. But yeah, but that's what's going to happen. That right, these are the same people. So when you're reading the Bible and you hear those Edom, Idumia, Mount Seir, talking about Esau. Same firstborn of, of uh, Jacob, I mean of uh, Isaac, not Jacob, because he ain't us. So let's get Obadiah. I want to go, yeah. no, I want to go back to Isaiah. Go back to uh, Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14, where we was at. I think we started at verse 2. We started at verse 3. Book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 3. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. It says in the end, it says it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord 
shall give thee rest. Ain't that what we want? Yes, sir. We want rest from captivity. But our people will rather join and try to keep this place going as it is when black men could get killed and then turn around and didn't do nothing wrong and then they get demonized as though it was their fault they got killed. Come on now, dog. Didn't do nothing wrong. Just jogging through the neighborhood just like anybody else would be jogging through the neighborhood. But all of a sudden it's a problem when we do it. Now they get free range to say they're going to make a citizen's arrest. What? <laughs> That's what they claimed they was trying to do, make a citizen's arrest. You can't make that stuff up. Read on. And from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve. I want that. I want to be freed from that. I want to be free from this sorrow that that fear when them blue and red lights turn on behind you while you're driving down the highway whether or not you don't know if you're going to go home or not. I hope people think this place is comfortable. We've gotten too comfortable here. When what we're going to do is end up dying is if we keep on following their ways. Read on. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. We're talking about Esau because Babylon was never conquered. So it's, this ain't happened yet. It's going to happen. Just like the thought was continued, we're going to reign over our oppressors. Now it's calling them Babylon again. Just like he called them daughter of Babylon before. Read. And say, how had the oppressors ceased? The golden city ceased. And that's what's going to happen. That's what people are going to be wondering. When this place go down, like Romans 9 said, that God letting them get so powerful and so big just so our, just so he could kill them. Because can't nobody take this man down right now. He rules the earth. Right. Everybody be like, no, no, no. China is the ruling power. This country is the ruling. Do China got militaries everywhere? No. Mind you, U.S. got militaries in China, though. Right. Right. No Chinese military base here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, crazy. It don't, it don't make no sense. When people act like they don't understand that stuff. But that is what is going on. We are literally watching the earth to get the, the fall as it is to where we will then rise up, rise up to be on top of it all. If we keep the commandments, though. Because our people think it's just going to be given. And they can go to the club, sleep around with everybody, do whatever in the words you want to do. It's not how it's going to go. You're going to die here. You got some also? You good? All right. Uh, let's jump over to Revelations 18. Revelations 18. Uh, is it verse 4, I think? Yes, sir. Let's get that. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. Mm -hmm. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. And that's what we got to be listening to. We've been saying that we've been doing this radio show now for months. And it's, we, be, we got radio shows and classes online all year, all day long, telling our people to come out of this place, come out of the ways of this place. Right, because right. we're sitting up here waiting to die, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right, you're basically saying flee from the shadow of this world. Right. You got to get out. You got to come out from among these Christians, these pastors. Mm -hmm. Right. Look at the, like, just like the lady, she tried to demonize us. Just like the title of the, 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 this class or this video, they try to demonize us and make us the villains when they're the true villains and the savages. How are you going to demonize the person that was that was right. the victim, though? Didn't talk about his toenails. Right. Oh, you, you literally said he, because he didn't wear socks and his feet what? was ashy. Yeah, they the main people that walk around with damn they toes out. With listen, sandals on. <laughs> listen, <laughs> to be real. Listen, but didn't they used to eat lights off to each other? Base. Y'all didn't even yeah. know how to take Base. baths. Yeah, right. Base. We had to teach them how to how to take care of themselves. And then they want to turn around and call us dirty and everything else. Man, please, y'all, the dogs of the earth, man. Stop it. The dogs of Get the earth. Get some help. All right, let's read on. Book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. Mm -hmm. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, mm -hmm. that ye be not partakers of her sins, Read. and that ye receive not of her plagues. That we receive not of her plagues. When the missiles come and all them us is starting to get thrust through, you don't want to be in that number. It says come out of her. Come out of their ways. Get out of Christianity. Come out of all these wicked holidays. How are you going to have Thanksgiving one day to celebrate the murder of the Native Americans and then turn around the next day? It's Native American Heritage Day. Wow. That's what Black Friday was. Native American Heritage Day. 
right after you just celebrated the slaughter the day before. That goes to show you how, how evil this man is. He put the slaughter of them before their heritage day. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. And our people set up and celebrate the stuff like it was, it was it was to get together with the family. Out of all the days you could have got together, you want that one. But read on, officer. Verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. See, God didn't forget what they did to us. He ain't forgot nothing. Problem is, we the ones done forgot. We done forgot that they the enemy. We done forgot all the things they've done to us, and that's why we run around doing and trying to copy them putting blonde hair in your head you got Ooh. men all the feminine is crap you can't make this stuff up our people don't even want to get married because of the stuff they push into us because we want to follow them 20 some percent of bl black women get married in their life the rest of you have no chance because mm. you want to follow their ways be in the club Blonde your hair, acting like them. That, that's how a problem it says come out of their ways. Do not receive the punishment that they're going to get. Read on. Reward her even as she rewarded you. And we going to reward her even as she rewarded us, though. See, this right here is the reward. This right here is a beautiful thing to get payback. Everybody be talking about payback. You right. got gangs out justice. here. <laughs> Look, right. Everybody talking about justice. Mind you, we'll mess around and kill each other talking about I got to get payback and revenge on our own people. That's what gangs for doing. Right. They getting revenge on each other, yet and still don't nobody want to get revenge on the white man. Come though. on now, dog. Everybody, you show up and teach, and they'll tell you to leave the block right. when you trying to uplift the people. But the white man run through there and kill you. Now you marching. Why you didn't threaten to kill that dude? Now, we ain't telling you to go kill him, but why would you threaten to kill your own that's trying to uplift, mm. but then you'll turn around and welcome the devil in your neighborhood? Stop and then it. when they kill one of your children, now you holding up a sign talking about, I am a man or I'm a Bruh. woman, as though they can't see that already. Bruh. Stuff don't make no sense, man. Right. But that's what's going on. But you know how you say, he said, come out? Go yeah. to, um, oh, we got to finish that. We gotta yeah, finish oh, you got to finish that. Yeah, okay, yeah. Go ahead. We got to finish that. Read that. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Uh -huh. And double unto her double according to her works. Read. In the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. We going to do double. And that's what we want. But our people that ain't that ain't trying to repent, y'all are keeping this place going. Go right. ahead, officer. All right. To go along with that scripture, pull, uh, go to Jeremiah 51 and 45. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 45. Verse 45. My people, go ye out of the midst of her. It says, come out of the midst of who? Babylon, read. And deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. Because if you caught amongst them, he gonna get you, the most high gonna destroy you. Crazy. He deliver us. He said, Come out. So I don't destroy you. Come out of the ways of the, this world. Flee from the ways of this world. So I don't destroy you. Oh, praises. And hey, that's the show. That's this wartime radio on WPJM eight hundred AM. And with that, a hey, Lord's will, y'all learn something. And, and y'all were edified and amen. Come out of the ways of this place and repent, family. Right. With that, we say shalom. 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 Thank you for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. And follow us on all social media platforms at IUIC Columbia, South Carolina. Join our congregation every Saturday at 4 p.m. Located at 1823 Greg Street, Columbia, South Carolina. For more information, call us at 803-708-4861 at extension 237. Share our show with your friends and family. And thank you again for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show.